newsflash, you can still stream with Zoom into a Facebook group. Check it out. My free Facebook group is right here and I don't need to do anything else. I actually can just click free Facebook group and start streaming. It's so easy. Honestly, it's even easier than it was before. Before, I couldn't go live in more than one place. And I used to have to go and actually set up the live stream individually. Now I can go live in multiple places at one time and it is magically easy. Everybody's saying that you're not able to as of April 22nd. It's just not true. And in this video, I'm going to show you the workaround that has to be put into place as of April 22nd in order to live stream into a Facebook group. And what's actually going on here? So Facebook is depreciating or removing the ability to use the third party API in order to stream into a Facebook group. Without explaining exactly what that means, it's basically like there used to be this really cool magic key that opened the door to Facebook groups for these third party streaming tools and that magic key is going away. But don't worry, I got you. There's a new magic key and it's called the RTMP. And I'm going to explain it to you and show you exactly how to do it with Zoom in this video. And yes, this is my AI avatar. It's super early in the morning while I'm recording this. And so I'm not going to be on camera. Hey. <laughs> okay, you're going to love this. All right, I created a brand new Zoom account for you so that I could show you how to set this up from the very beginning. Proof, this is a brand new Zoom account. Now, this is brand new. So if you have a current Zoom account, know that you're going to be okay. When you go into settings, you'll see there is something called Zoom apps. Click on that and see how it says Zoom apps quick launch button. We want to make sure that's turned on. So make sure that's turned on and then I'm going to show you what happens. We're going to go into our meeting and we're going to start the meeting and I'm going to show you how to live stream to a Facebook group as of April 22nd, 2024. Okay, now I opened a Zoom room in this brand new account and what you're going to notice, I didn't change any settings, which this is the thing that is like very magical now. There is a new way to do this within Zoom. You're going to click on apps on the bottom. This is a brand new account. I didn't have to change anything in the settings. Boop. And now what you're going to see is this little guy pops over on the side. Okay. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to search and I'm going to search live stream. Look, live streaming right here. And you'll see that live streaming one pop up. Click get and add. I already have it here, so I'm going to click on it now. It's going to allow me to add a channel, and I am going to add a channel that is specific to my Facebook group. So I'm going to go add channel. I'm not going to click Facebook, though. I'm going to click custom, and then I need to get the information from my Facebook group so that I can add it all in here. This stream label is really like for me to know what it is. The stream key, I'm going to grab from Facebook Live Producer. The stream RTMP URL, I'm going to grab from the Facebook Live Producer. And the page URL is actually going to be the Facebook group that I'm going to be using. Okay, so let's go grab that information. So once I'm in my Facebook group, in order to do this, I'm going to go into the group as if I'm going to write a post. I'm going to click on the post. And then in here, I'm going to click on the three little dots on the right hand side and I'm going to go to live video. Now this is going to bring me to the live producer, which I'm going to actually make this smaller so you can see the whole thing. Okay. It's going to bring me to the live producer. You'll see over on the side, it says it's going to post in group. You could create a live video event and I have another video showing you how to do that, but we're actually just going to go straight to go live. If you want to know how to do it with an event, which I actually really love doing, I'll share the link in the description of this video. Okay, but for here, we're just going to click go live. And within here, you'll notice a couple of things. So let's just like start at the beginning of it. So over here on the left hand side, this is the checklist for what you have to do in order to go live into a group on Facebook using this new system. You connect your video source, which we will connect with Zoom. You'll add your post details and then you'll go live. Now, first of all, I wish I hadn't made this change to be totally honest. Second of all, the one thing that is most confusing is that I think this user interface is so wacko. 
On the left, you will find the checklist. In the middle is where you will connect your video or your streaming software. And on the right is where you'll do the post details. And then you'll come back down here to the left to click go live once you're once you've completed those first two tasks. So you could connect your webcam straight here, but then you'll have a really hard time screen sharing and it's not possible to add all of your peeps from Zoom in. So we're gonna click streaming software and then we're gonna grab the stream key and we're going to click advanced settings and we're going to grab the server URL. Now I suggest that you use a persistent stream key. That means you won't have to do this crazy setup every time. All you'll have to do is click go live on Zoom and then click go live here on Facebook. So I'm gonna copy the stream key and I'm gonna copy the server URL. I use a Chrome extension called Clipboard History Pro. It's right here. It is the greatest Chrome extension ever. So both of those are copied to my clipboard. I guess if you're on a PC, that just saves on your clipboard automatically, which is wild, but I'm on a Mac. Okay, um, I'll put Clipboard History Pro in the chat as well. Okay, now we're gonna go back over to Zoom. So we're back here on Zoom. I'm gonna paste the stream page URL. Don't share this data with anyone because then they could like stream on your behalf. So stream key goes up there. The RTMP URL that I just copied actually goes in the RTMP URL. This one on the bottom, the stream page URL is actually your Facebook group link. So that's the actual URL of your group. Zoom has told me that that is so that the people in your group know where to go to find the live stream. Okay, and what I'm gonna put for the stream label, and we're gonna do this as a little test together, I'm gonna put free Facebook group so that my team knows when they're gonna go live, if they wanna use Zoom to go live, we're all gonna have this saved. Cause watch what happens when I save this, now it saves as its own destination. Hey, I'm back for just a second. Okay, keep watching this video because I'm gonna show you exactly how to actually make the video go live. But I also just wanted to let you know, when I was recording this, I got really excited because I realized that you can actually now stream into Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, all these different places, multiple Facebook groups at the same time. So it's actually a huge improvement to what we used to be able to do on Zoom just a few months ago. And I went on a tangent when I recorded this to explain all of that. I don't want you to be confused. So instead, I'm focused on going live into one Facebook group, but I'm gonna put out another video on how to stream into multiple locations at once on Zoom. Just letting you know, you're gonna see YouTube and Facebook on my apps now, but it's just because I got excited. I decided to slow down and I'm gonna move that to a separate video. Okay, go back to this one, bye. Okay, once I've done that, let's say I wanna go live in my free Facebook group. This information is not going to transfer over there. I have to actually set that up inside the Facebook group. So watch what happens. I'm gonna hit start streaming and, and I've only selected the Facebook group. I'm gonna hit start streaming. And now you may feel like, oh, I'm streaming on Facebook, but you're not actually streaming on Facebook yet, even though it says meeting is now streaming on Facebook. It says this, but you're not actually streaming. I'm gonna show you what's happening. Over here, now we have connected our video source and Zoom, this is actually the Zoom stream because I'm not on camera there, but you, if I was, you'd see me here. Okay, we did step one. Now we have to add the description. So here, you're gonna add a title. I just did this earlier. My first trial of this got messed up. Great, I'm just gonna do that. That is my, that's my description of my title, which is not the best description and title, but there it is. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna save that. And then I'm not gonna go too deep into all the ways you can customize this because I've done all kinds of cool things in here. So I'm not gonna go through all the different details that you can do in here. All I want you to see is that we now have a description and a title. And then over here on the left, you can see connect video source, complete details. All I really have to do is click go live because I know it's going in the group. If you wanna be fancy, there's all kinds of other things you can do down here, but we're not gonna dive into any of that. We're just gonna click go live. And what's gonna happen is we've already sent the live stream from Zoom to Facebook. So all we have to do is click go live right here. And in the future, you won't have to do all of that other crazy stuff that we just did on Zoom because all you'll have to do is select it and then go live. You won't have to paste everything. We just had to do that one time. So watch what happens. It's gonna say live video is starting and then you're gonna see that it's live. It's taking a second. 
Woohoo! Hey, hey, we are live for our second test today of our live stream from Zoom. Okay, now you can see this is working. All the things over here are working. We're actually going to open up the Facebook group. And in this Facebook group, we're going to see the live stream. Yay! I recommend pulling up your phone to look at the comments. And now I'm going to show you how to end this live stream. So on Zoom, all you have to do is click stop streaming. Look, we're streaming. Hooray. I'm going to click stop streaming. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> stop streams. Ta-da. And now, magically, this did not used to happen. You used to have to come and click end video. But magically now, they've got it together. And it's actually going to stop the video for you. Oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen, we did it. I'm so proud of us. Okay. Now, one more really important thing. In Zoom, let's say that I like close this Zoom out, okay? And then I reopen it. So I'm going to close this. Let's pretend I just opened my Zoom screen, right? Like, oh, hey, new Zoom. I want to go live today. You click apps. When you do that, you'll see live streaming. This is like the second time you're going to go live, right? Check it out. My free Facebook group is right here and I don't need to do anything else. I actually can just click free Facebook group and start streaming. It's so easy. Honestly, it's even easier than it was before. Because before I could I couldn't go live in more than one place and I used to have to go and actually set up the live stream individually. Now, I can go live in multiple places at one time and it is magically easy. I just add a title and a description and then I'm good to go. Oh my gosh, who knew it could be so easy? It just takes that that setup in the very beginning. Okay, um, let us know if you have questions below this video and join us in our free group because we put all kinds of magic there. And if you want to know how to create content that converts, you can sign up for the content club where we do trainings and we help you to create content that converts using AI. It is awesome. I'll put it in the description. Follow this account for more. Talk to you soon. Bye.